Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, guys. So this is definitely coming off the heels of my last couple of reads. Um, obviously, the, the ex and the karmic are having some issues. They're having some problems and whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're, that's not your problem. It's their problem, right, collective? <laughs> but the energy is still um, around your energy, which is why it's coming out through the cards and why I'm picking it up in a download. If you've not checked out my last video that I uploaded, make sure to go check that out. You'll understand how we get here. Basically, it looks like either, um, it looked like mainly the karmic feminine was, you know, playing around on this, uh, the masculine. Um, but I'm getting some different energy here in this reading. So let's go ahead and hop to it. The first energy that's coming out is the two of cups in the upright. This is some type of a partnership relationship, something that's equally matched. Um, this is, uh, this is not your relationship with your ex collective. I just need to, you know, say that just to, you know, let you know that this is representative of the relationship that your ex had with the karmic. So that's their two of cup relationships when they were together in their relationship, right? The next energy that comes out is the three of wands in the inverse energy. That is an energy of things not turning out like it, like you hoped. You know, it, it just, it's not going anywhere. So this relationship with the karmic isn't going anywhere. That's exactly what that means. That relationship with the karmic didn't turn out like your ex hope. It's a dead end. You know, all the glitters is not gold. This is cubic zirconia. You did not get a diamond. You got cubic zirconia. <laughs> Yeah, that, wow, I was going to go further with that, but let me leave it alone. <laughs> but the next energy that comes out is the Page of Wands in the upright. This is where my downloads start to get interesting because this Page of Wands in the upright is hoping to get good news from some, with something. Being enthusiastic, very childlike, hoping to get good news with something. But look what it's right next to, the Knight of Wands in the inverse. This is an energy that's very flighty, in and out, always rushing in your ego. Um, this is also something that I do connect with male wand energy, <clears throat> you know, male wand energy, especially if there's a lot of wand energy, a lot of masculine energy. I feel like this is like a player energy, this knight of wands and the inverse energy. So, and this is how I'm, I'm reading it. This is why my downloads are kind of kicking up here because in the very first read, we saw that the karmic feminine was playing and emotionally manipulating your ex, right? Okay. News flash. Well, this actually this is not a news flash. You know your ex was a player. You know, collective. You know that you are not the only one in your situation. So it should not come as a surprise to you that what's coming out here, this karmic connection, it didn't turn out like they hoped. It's a dead end. It's not what they thought. They got a cumic zirconia. They didn't get a diamond like they thought. Um, they were hoping to get good news, but with that relationship, but it didn't work out that way. But what I'm picking up in my downloads, y'all, is because this person realized that it was a dead end with this karmic and it didn't turn out like they hoped, I feel like this page of wands in the upright means that they turned to the knight of wands and the inverse energy. They stepped out on this karmic too, y'all. Mm -hmm. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Collective was good enough to be cheated on. This karmic is good enough to be cheated on too, right? That's 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 how the cookie crumbles. That's, that's how it is. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling in the energy because it's like... The moment that this person felt like, all right, this is a dead end. It's not going to go nowhere. I'm going to go get some good news somewhere else. It's like this person, person does not stick around to fix their problems. Again, calling in that Knight of Wands and the inverse energy. This is someone who's very rushing, flighty. They don't think, they don't stop to fix problems with their partner. They just dip out and go dip their wand into something else. This might seem like a familiar story to you, collective. If you 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 know that this is what this person does, they don't fix anything. They if whatever happens happens in the relationships, they're like, all right, they act like everything's fine, don't they? Page of wands and upright. They just hope to get good news with somebody else that they can dip their wand into. Mm -hmm. They don't fix anything. They don't work together with anybody. They don't partner with their partner, regardless if it, this was a karmic or not. Let's say, for instance, this was your co your connection with the ex collective, okay? Let's just say, this would have been the exact same thing that they did with you. This would have been what happened. You guys were in a partnership, didn't turn out like you guys expected for whatever reason. It doesn't matter who was at fault. It, it just didn't turn out as you expected. 
So this person turns around and like, okay, it didn't turn out good. I'm going to go get good news with somebody else. Very rushing, flighty, um, in and out, wand, male phallic energy. This person is a serial cheater. This is what I'm picking up, y'all. This is a player, serial cheer, cheater, um, Jezebel energy, you know, incubus energy, however you want to say the energy, you know, it's a hoe. And I don't differentiate between male hoes and female hoes. They're all hoes. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm going to just keep it real. <laughs> They're all hoes. This person <laughs> was in a partnership that broke down. So as soon as it broke down, they wanted to get some good news somewhere else being a hoe. This is a masculine energy, dipping their phallic wand energy into something else. They felt like, all right, that broke down. Let me go be a hoe somewhere else. This is what I'm feeling. Player energy. I call a spade a spade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they're also carrying the energy of the four swords energy. Um, they realize that under it's right under this two of cups. They're having to take some peace, meditation, prayer, and taking a break. They realize they have to step away from this karmic situation, right? Obviously, while they're out there being a hoe, the seven of swords is an upright energy. It is taking time and peace away. I feel like there's some serious drama going on, and we did see that in our very last reading. So yeah, it's like everything is exploding over there. So they want to go dip their wand in some other things and go be a hoe over here. This is what I'm feeling. And they're also carrying the energy of the nine of swords and upright. While they're having peace, it's like this person can't, that this person can't relax. I feel a very fidgety, a fidgety energy, which is why I'm doing my fingers like this. They are stressed out having worry and anxiety because things broke down. I feel like there's some real co um, complications that are happening in this relationship that's breaking down which is why this nine of swords having stress, worry, and anxiety is right under this three of, uh, three of wands in the inverse. It didn't go as expected. There's something going down with the breakdown of this karmic relationship. There's something happening. And in my very last read, I think the maybe, maybe the read before that, I pulled I pull like maybe some legal issues possibly, but I'm, I'm pulling that again in this nine of swords in the inverse, or excuse me, a nine of swords in the upright energy. How can you go from the four of swords taking peace and meditation and still be stressed out? They're taking a break away from the relationship, but they're stressed out because of things that are going down as the relationship separates. That's what I'm feeling. The next energy that comes out is the four of cups in the upright. They had an energy of being um, discontent, very bored, apathetic in that relationship. So it's right under the page of wands in the upright. They're like, they're bored. They kind of missed out on, you know, opportunities, but, or excuse me, they feel like they've missed out on opportunities. Now, when it comes to your energy collective you're not here right you're this is not your reading this is your ex's energy okay the four of cups always came out that they missed out on you right they this this cup over here was always your energy they missed out on your energy but in this reading i'm not picking that up i'm picking up that this four of cups was like the same thing like this player energy their relationship breaks down. It doesn't turn out the way they want to. So instead of sticking around and fixing it, you know, with that person, whether they're karmic or not, they go, oh, she looks pretty. I'm going to go dip my wand in her. That's what I'm feeling. So this four cups in the upright is feeling like they're missing out on all the other females that they can go be a hoe with. That's what I'm feeling. I'm Y'all, I'm telling you. And this is confirmed by the fool in the inverse. I don't got to make nothing up. The energy is here. This is a certified serial player. Serial cheater. This, this all says the same thing. This literally says the same thing. This row up here says the same thing that this row up here says. They're stressed out because things are they're crashing and burning. There's something going on behind the scenes and that, and that separation of the karmic relationship, but they feel like they're, they're, they're missing out. So they have to go get good, um, good, good news being flighty, you know, and, you know, rushing and things of that nature, calling in that, that flighty in your ego and energy. But you go from being having good news and being flighty over here to being calm and um, you know being stressed out about about that relationship. They're not they're not being flighty in that relationship. They're being flighty outside of the relationship. You see what I'm saying, collective? They things are not working out over here, so they want to go over there somewhere. Oh, she looks pretty. Go follow the pretty dress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what this. I, I swear, I feel like this person can't let a, a cute skirt walk by without giving that skirt attention. I really feel like this for this energy. Like this feels like somebody who can be let alone by the nose by any pretty face. They like all women is what they would say to you. They like all women, all women. 
Meaning there's not any woman that they won't turn down. That's not very selective, is it? The page of wands in the uh, upright energy is an energy that wants to get good news by being this knight of wands energy. And I'm pretty sure that you would have seen that come up collective. Um, this would be a situation where you know that you and the karmic were not the only two. Mm -hmm. That would be this person who has the four cups energy that thought that they were missing out when things didn't work out or at least the way that they wanted it to work out. They're like, all right, cool. Peace out. I'm gonna go over here. Somebody else will give me attention. All women are okay with me. I like all women. <laughs> This is what I'm feeling because they carried the energy of the fool and the inverse. Very risky, reckless, and foolish. Everything that they did. Being a hoe. I mean, seriously. Jezebel, incubus energy, player, serial cheater, however you want to say it. This literally says the same thing as this. Right? That was that person. But here's what's going on now. Because whatever's going on in this relationship, they it really does have this ex stressed out. It really does. Nine of Swords energy. is like they are like trying to get away because of whatever's going on. I don't know whatever's happening here, but the, it has made them want to be in the Eight of Cups and the, uh, and the Upright energy. This is the energy of moving on from a disappointing relationship. They're moving on from this karmic. And this is what, I don't know how many confirmations that your ex is moving on from this karmic. I feel like an energy of an, an implosion. This karmic feminine is psycho- lost her mind she is jealous for no reason she if she, there's no reason to be jealous just level up honey and live your life right but the thing about it is is that the eight of cups is an energy of walking away from disappointment grief and despair this karmic is a disappointment to your ex y'all a straight disappointment the, oh just not even a disappointment um in addition to that it didn't work out as they expected and this is the, that karmic feminine was the same person that threw up in your face i got your man no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Not anymore. You're a disappointment to them. <laughs> You're a disappointment. You're a disappointment. So much of a disappointment. It's leaving him stressed out that he's got to walk away from you. You got who now? <laughs> but the karmic masculine or your masculine, your ex also carried the energy of the two of pentacles. He was juggling. Um, I feel like who, who he was with this karmic and who he was trying to be or who he wanted to be underneath it all. Um, um, I, ooh, I have a download. It's, hold on a second. It's literally coming. I got a download coming through as I'm talking. One second. He, he juggled, he juggled who he was with the karmic, who he wanted to be with you. For some reason, you brought out a different side of your masculine ex who he was with you was different who he was with the karmic is what i'm getting or at least if not who he showed up to you who he wanted to be i, oh, I just heard he wasn't a finished product y'all i'm getting downloads as i'm as i'm recording this i just heard that he's not a finished product or he wasn't a finished product like he was on his way to becoming who he wanted to be with you and that version of who he wanted to be to become with you was completely different than who he showed up to be with this karmic. Interesting. Um, that actually pairs very well with this card right here that's coming out, the King of Pentacles in the Upright. Because I, I know that you already know that you, Collective, your ex was a provider. King of Pentacles is someone who does provide uh, security, stability, and finance. So that wouldn't be a surprise to you. But he the download that i'm just getting as i'm recording this is that this is who he wanted to be he was a work in progress i like this person this person's energy is trying to connect with me now as i'm recording this and it's like they're trying to say that they didn't fully make it to this level but that's who they wanted to be with you they felt at a standstill for some reason Mm. This this uh, masculine has um, insecurities and self confidence issues that they never told you about. There was there's something as to why he never fully showed up like this to you. This is like a want. He wanted to be the king of pentacles in the upright. He and I'm not even going to try to rationalize what this masculine did, but what at least what's coming through in the downloads with this energy here, the nine excuse me the eight of cups. He's walking away from this disappointing, disappointing karmic over here because he was juggling 
who he wanted to be. And what at least is what I'm picking up as I'm recording this, he never fully got to be this King of Pentacles in the upright as a positive provider, someone you can lean on, depend on. You know, you don't need to worry about your security, uh, finance and security. He would have gotten that for you, but he, he always had a player in him is what I'm getting. It's like, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. And this is why this is coming out as I'm doing my download. I'm sorry if it's a little bit scattered because <laughs> my downloads kind of come out that way. And if I'm, my downloads kind of come through when I'm pulling my cards, I write them down. But this is what it is. He was juggling who he wanted to be, who want, who he wanted to become. Eventually, he just never made it to the King of Pentacles in the upright. He was juggling being the serial cheater, serial uh, whore. Uh, oh, y'all. So, you know, I mean, this shouldn't be a shock to you, but this this is what this masculine's internal thoughts are, you know? But I mean, uh, look, we're all adults here. I'm not going to get too, too in you guys' private business. It's not my place, right? When you're in a divine partnership, a loving partnership that's not karmic, that does not involve lying, manipulation, cheating, domination, and manipulation and lies and all of that, None of that would be a part of your relationship. If it is built on love, you can do all the things that you want to do, you know, with your sacral sexual energy, but that's between you two. And nobody else's business. This man would have had to completely cut out being a, a cheater. Being how he would have had to completely cut out being a whore. He would have had to completely cut out not working on relationships with the partner and stepping out to be happy. No one can make you happy but one yourself and two your partner if you're with them in a partnership. This man got it wrong. Like I like I feel I, I, I it's like a want. It's like I wanted to get there, but he just could not release his 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 whorish ways. And I'm just like, that's a you problem, dude. Nobody can help you feel secure in your relationship that's blowing up by sleeping with you. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. You're doing it wrong, bro. And to be honest with you, Collective, a lot of people do that. Masculines and feminines, let's just keep it 100. People who don't want to work on things in relationships immediately step out to go get sexual gratification from somebody outside of the relationship. Let's just keep it all the way 100, Collective. It's just not masculines out here doing this, it's feminines too. Self-love and dealing with insecurities and hurt requires a partnership between the two people involved in the situation. That third party over there can't help you be happy in your relationship with this one. It doesn't work that way. Like you, you got it messed up. You, you, But this is the energy of the fool in the inverse. This is very risky and uh, reckless. Then you just involve somebody else and they have nothing to do with you. Now you're a part of their business because I don't know if you're protecting yourself, you might be bringing things, uh, bringing things home that you shouldn't be bringing home. Now you just added another problem that you probably won't solve. You know what I'm saying, collective? But like this, this masculine, like, I don't want to say hurt is the energy that I'm feeling. It's like a self, it's like self-destructive. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Self-destructive. That's what it is very self-destructive. It's like, he wants to do this, but he does this. He wants to do this, but he does this. It's very self-destructive. This is the two of pentacles energy that I'm feeling, um, with his energy. But again, this is the want, the 10 of cups in the upright, emotional fulfillment, contentment, unconditional love, having a life fulfilling, um, partnership, a life partner, a divine partner. This is what he wants. It's like underneath the, the lying whore that this person was, you know, stepping out on this one to go dip his one into that one. He wants a commitment. This probably, this person might want, you know, to be married to somebody, you know, when they're having kids. But you can't do that with doing this. Like, you got to stop all that to get this. These two energies don't match. It's like this, this masculine is like confused, two of pinnacles confused. And this is exactly what I'm pulling in this, this masculine's energy. It's like, but look y'all, the best partnerships have great, you know, intimate times. The best partnerships have great intimate times. That is a, a good part of a relationship, but that's gotta be a bond between both of y'all that y'all shared that does not include anybody else does not include anybody else. 
You can't juggle being a whore and want to be married and have kids and be a provider for somebody. No, that's not how that works. Not getting this 10 of cups level of love, that's not how that works. You got to cut that out. If you want to go play the field because you like all women and you can't resist every woman walking by you, go do that. Go do that. Away from the collective, mind you. Away from the collective. You know, there are a lot of karmic feminines out here that are on that time, you know, but that's not going to heal you. That's not going to stop your, um, heal your insecurity that I'm really put, picking up in this energy. This masculine is insecure. Insecure. So insecure that he can't bring himself to work on the problems himself. This is, hmm. This masculine needs healing. It's like he he really does want this. He does, but he can't stop himself from doing this. He needs healing. He needs healing. That's all it is. He needs healing. And that will stop that two of pentacles juggling energy that I'm picking up on. It's very heavy. So I asked for a clarifier. This is coming to him as a tower. This is, it's like an epiphany. He's trying to figure out what he wants in life. Do you still want to be a player or do you, do you want this? Do you, do you want to be a provider? Do you want to be married? Do you want to have kids? Do you want to have the 10 of cups? Do you want to have emotional fulfillment, unconditional love? Which one do you want? And this is where, you know, I call into what Archangel Metatron was trying to tell me. These masculines out here are having to make a choice. Y'all are seeing it right here. The choice is, do you want to be married with kids and have the picture perfect life as this 10 of cups is showing right here in this picture, unconditional love, agape love, commitment in relationships, relationship commitment. This energy is completely different than a knight of wands. This is um, non-committal commitment issues. Like I told you, I don't need to make a single thing up collective. These are opposite energies. These are opposite. This is commitment issues over here. This is commitment over here. So I am picking up on a masculine who acts like a hoe, but deep down wants to be a provider, wants to be married, wants to have kids. He wants to have the whole nine, but he can't stop himself from being a hoe. He needs healing. Just like any other feminine out there, they need healing. All these feminines out here doing the same thing. A hoe is a hoe, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, but you got to pick a struggle, figure out who you want to be and do it. This is what this tower is to this masculine, y'all. This masculine is trying to figure out if he wants to be a hoe all his life or if he wants to be, you know, married in a stable relationship and provide, you know, because this is a provider. Like I said, this is what I pulled in the download that just came through. Like he never made it to this point of being the king of pinnacles. It was a want. He wanted to do this, but he never made it there. It's because of his insecurities. But this is a tower. It's coming across as a very chaotic, abrupt, you know, just like, uh, you know, something chaotic, like. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Oh my God, I screwed up so bad. I, I messed over the collective. The collective don't want me. I messed over the karmic. The karmic don't want me. I'm stressed out. Nine of swords. This person might even think that you left them. And again, um, this is not blaming you, but this person, this masculine might think or say that you left them in a time of need. You collective left them. No collective. You saw that they were being a hoe and you were not okay with being with a hoe, right? So you had to leave to get your healing. You didn't leave this person when, when they needed you. You didn't leave them. They left you. They left you the moment that they started messing around with another hoe. You see what I'm saying, collective? This person is really having like a life crisis right about now. This is a tower for this masculine. It really is. He has to figure out what he wants to do with the rest of his life. This is like a midlife crisis, I feel like, for this masculine. You know, do I want to be, you know, live footloose and fancy free and be dipping my wand into everybody and being non-committal to everybody when something goes wrong with one relationships, um, you know, doesn't work out as it's planned. I'm going to go get some, some fun somewhere else. And that's going to make me feel better. Or do you really want to be this King of Pentacles and the upright and get emotional fulfillment and commitment in a relationship? This person is having to figure out with this tower moment who they want to be. I think after this tower, our last energy is the world and the upright. This person is going to close out karmic cycles. And this is another confirmation. We've been seeing this, that the, the masculines out here, they are being presented with a choice. You see the choice here. Be, be an upstanding man that gets commitment, 10 of cups level commitment, and you can be the provider that you want to be. Or do you live your life as a hoe? Not committing to anyone. Having stress, worry, and anxiety. Worrying about the people that you screwed over. Pick one. Which one do you want to be? 
This person is getting the world in the upright to close out karmic cycles. They are getting success to be able to move forward in life. After this tower, once they figure it out, I can't wait to see what the energy looks like with this world in the upright. This is the ability to get this in the upright after this tower. Now, this is not a certainty. I don't feel like this is a certainty. This is the opportunity to close out cycles. This person is going through a midlife crisis, existential crisis, however you want to define it. Do you want to be a hoe all your life? You know, when one relationship breaks down, you go sleep with another person, you create more problems on top of more problems, on top of more problems, on top of more problems, still staying in the Nine of Swords, blaming everybody else for the problems that you bring into their lives. Is that what you want to do your entire life? And especially you collective, you did nothing to deserve all the chaos and drama that your ex brought to you. You did not a single thing to deserve how they treated you. This is confirmation of what I'm saying to you. This person, when they don't get good luck in a relationship, they go get good luck somewhere else and bring problems into not only their life, but somebody else's. This person creates messes and blames somebody else for them. A non-committal hoe that doesn't want to take responsibility for the chaos that they bring into their lives and other people's lives. This is the tower moment. Do you want to keep doing this? Do you want to keep being in a nine of swords energy? Do you still want to keep being non-committal when deep down you want to be a provider to somebody? You want to get married. You want to have kids. You want to have commitment. But you're not going to get commitment if you don't give commitment. You won't get commitment if you dip out soon as something gets tough. You won't get commitment if there's not a single thing that you do to build up a relationship. Now, the karmic is karmic. We're not talking about her. We're talking about somebody in the upright because they want to be in the upright. This person does deep down. They just act like a hoe all the time. But the thing about it is you can't expect somebody to treat you, you know, give you commitment, but you're not committing to anybody else. Why would they? Why would they? They would leave you because as soon as they start picking up on you playing them and cheating on them and not you not giving them what you gave them, of course, they're returning energy. That's all that is. They picked up on that energy from you and they gave it right back. You get what you give, homie. You get what you give. So this person has to decide what they want to give people now. You can't expect this. You can't want this if you're giving this. This is a tower. If this person makes it out of this tower and, and, and making a decision to stop being a hoe and be this person that they want to be, this king of pentacles in the upright to the ten of cups in the upright, this tower is going to end up being the world in the upright. We'll see as we continue with the energy. Let's go ahead and get a mystical oracle card so we can help our energies move forward. Card 26, transformation. Let's see what this says. A woman is dressed in a red polka dot dress. The upper part has already begun the process of transforming into a butterfly. With her hand, she touches her chest. Is the hand she touches her chest? Is the butterfly a part of her body? Is it a symbol of her soul? Is the woman transforming into a new life? This card leaves us with more questions than answers. Maybe you will find answers by thinking about how you would respond to these questions. Am I the person I would like to be? What can I do right now to transform in some part of myself? Like, I don't need, I can't make it up, y'all. This is exactly what this masculine is trying to, trying to figure out. A lot of people go through this, and this is what the dark night of the soul looks like. What, who are you, and who do you want to be? Does that align? If not, you need to transform. Let's go ahead and get a Visions of Duality card, and wrap up our reading. Card eight, death. See what this says? We are all bound to reach the end of the road. There are so many roads, but they all have an end. It will be a sad moment, but it should not be an empty moment because the road that we have walked on has been long and gracious. When the end comes, we are never prepared, but still it comes without a smile, without a word. Advice, be sad, but let it go when the moment comes. And in that moment, you will be your true self. Y'all, like I said, somebody's trying to figure out who their true self is. It's coming after a tower moment. This person needs to figure out if they want to transform or if they still want to be their same old self. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.